Listen to this. The biggest all-wood megaphone on the East Coast sits right in our backyard, located at the VIC. That's short for Visitors Interpretive Center. Its cone shape is big enough for several people to sit in, relax, and listen. This was actually a capstone project by one of the students here at Paul Smith College. And he spent a lot of time, I can't tell you how many hours, researching this project and putting out equipment to determine the proper location of the forest megaphone. At this site, you can tell there's the sound of the brook, there's birds, there's the wind, but there's no, no human sounds. Tyler Rosman was a student who engineered the non-electric device. Students cut trees, measured lumber, and put together the huge megaphone. They placed the big wooden ear on the site of the Barnum Brook Trail. The College of the Adirondacks specializes in experiment learning like this. So what Tyler did for his capstone was he set up the entire summer, he'd set out um, about a series of, I think, 20 bioacoustic monitoring devices so he could develop an index to determine how much um, natural versus um, noise was there in different areas. Students at Paul Smith College continue to upgrade the megaphone and plan to build more of them to amplify nature's acoustics. It's more of coming in like, what is this? What is this big piece of wood that's out in the forest that doesn't look natural? But it is natural. It's all, it's, the wood itself has been harvested by Paul Smith students and cut up. And the cool part about this is the fact that it does look natural. It is wood. It's what you would see and it's like the, the, the image of it when I walked by for the first time, it looked like a sauna in, uh, in Scandinavian countries. It's made out of wood that's natural to the area and it gives it this ability to be a, something that's new and have been built but has this ability to still fit in the natural area, which is super cool and especially when visitors come to see this they notice it like it's a eye it like it catches their eye but it has this ability to also fit into the space visitors to the vic on the barnum brook trail often enter into the gigantic wooden megaphone for mountain lake journal i'm jack leduc at the visitors interpreter center at paul smith Jack LaDuke's Adirondack Journal on Mountain Lake PBS is brought to you by Northline Utilities.